Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about investment strategies, okay? I am often asked about different investment strategies and you know, as an appraiser, I'm often um, involved in, in transactions for investors and over the years, I've seen three strategies that seem to reoccur and are pretty effective. So I've watched these investors grow grow their portfolios and actually become pretty wealthy. So people often ask me, okay, which one do you think is the best strategy if they're starting out as an investor um, and they want to get, get going in, into their investment career, what is the best strategy that they see me, that I've seen rather, that I've seen other investors use to, to get started and you know has a high probability of working? So today I'm going to talk to you about it. Now, before we do that, make sure you click the like button, subscribe to my channel, um, hit the bell icon. We're going to talk about house hacking first, but in the next couple of videos, I'm going to talk about burr strategy and then also um, fix and flips. Okay, so we see all those. So house hacking today, let's hit it right now. First, what is house hacking? Well, house hacking is kind of a term, um, it's very familiar if you listen to Bigger Pockets, then you may have heard of house hacking. But house hacking basically is renting out or buying a house and then renting out the rooms in that house, okay? Now, this is very effective if you are single, you're not married. The one reason that it's very effective is because you can start off with purchasing real estate but you'll have a smaller down payment. You can buy that house as if you were owner occupied. So if you're going FHA, that could be as low as 3% down. If you use a NACA loan, you could get in there for almost no money. And then if you're doing it just conventional, you might have five to 10% down, but it's a whole lot less than if you were buying um, an investment property as an investor using an investment loan, which requires about 20% down, 20 to 25% down. So it's an easy way to get started into real estate. And the cool thing is you can buy one property, get that one, maybe have some roommates. You can save up for a short period of time. It doesn't even have to be a full year, depending on your lender. And then you can buy another property as a residential or um, owner occupied property. So it allows you to get into multiple properties with lower down payments. This might be a great scenario, maybe if you are married and you're kind of concerned about your spouse and maybe even your family living with a stranger. I mean, I know a lot of people that do it. Um, they would sometimes say, well, we, won't, we don't want a full-time person living in there, but maybe you can short term do an Airbnb in the basement area or if you have like an, an extra space, you can rent out a bedroom. That could possibly work. Um, that way you can kind of do it on a part-time basis. But another way to accomplish house hacking is if you bought a duplex or maybe a triplex or four unit. That way you can live in one of the units and then rent out the other ones. Now I have seen homeowners who house hacked and they saved tons of money on their, their monthly ex living expenses, on their mortgage rather. And in many cases, I've seen that mortgage get paid all out. So they were able to save up tons of money real quickly. Basically, they're living for free and then they can use that to purchase their next property. Over the years, I've seen some investors that got started with real estate investing and this was a very effective method for them. So I wanna encourage you to consider that that might be a great option of course the downside is if you're especially if you're if you're married and you have a, a, a family you may want to consider whether or not that strategy is going to work for you especially if you're sharing you know your house but for a duplex a single family uh, may not be best but if you have a duplex or a, a triplex or a four unit this could be an effective strategy for a new investor anyway I'll talk to you next week about the two other strategies, fix and flip and burr investing. Both of them are effective. And then I'm going to tell you which one I find to be the most that investors find the most success in. All right. 
all of them have their own pros and cons, but at least you'll get an idea of what I have, I have seen over the years. I'll talk to you next time. Have a good day.